see, where did we leave off last time? Oh yeah, I was bad. I was insanely tired because I was busy that day. Anyways, yeah. Welcome back, whoever's y'all, whichever y'all here. Infiltrator. Should I here after Commander Kawa? Nope. You're just here to get in some rubbernecking. I suggest you turn back. I guarantee your safety anywhere beyond here. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh wait, capture card. Check on it. Okay, good. There's audio. This is the storehouse where I got soupy. Separated in three floors, and each leads to a store where Kila is kept. You see that switch? Set up so that it changes. Oh. Did you take their spam? Oh, I don't know who Seth Denial is. Oh, he's a new, he's a new stream, he's a new, he's a new person in the, in the chat. He's new. You must have picked their Spanish course. Once you take it, they never leave you alone. Wait, do you not know about the Duolingo meme? I do. It's funny. It's fuck. That's dude. They have the best fucking marketing. It's Makes the it to Duolingo doesn't have Japanese, or I would take. Oh, they do have it. Do they? Yeah. They usually have a bunch of languages you can use. Duolingo bird just comes to me with a katana. It's like, learn, learn. I don't care if you're not going to Japan still, for another four years. Learn, I still learn. Love that fucking meme, Duolingo, is just like, if you don't learn Spanish, I will fucking murder you. <laughs> what is the resolution on that? Um, 3840 by 2400 p. It's essentially true 4K because the one, the monitor I have is not true 4K. It's yes, it's like 4K resolution, but it's not like. True, true 4K. It's close though. My TV's true 4K. PlayStation can't do up to true 4K though. Oh, it can. It's just that, you know, PS5 is weird. You see that switch? Setups that uh, changes the flow of Magatsu. <laughs> In other words, if you don't use the switches properly, you'll never make it to the storerooms. In other words, if you don't go to the store right now and buy a Nintendo Switch, we will kill you. Yes. There's rumors that a Pokemon Direct is supposed to happen this August with the World Championships. But I'm hoping that it doesn't, because that'll be a good thing. That means they're actually either working on Legends Arceus, or Legends EA, or they're gonna cancel it. I doubt it. I'm just confused that they showed it, and then said nothing about it. Yeah, well, what can you do about that stuff? Also, bro, the new Dead Rising remake, people are shitting on it for the dumbest reasons I've ever seen. Oh, are they? Yes, and it's super stupid. The only complaints I see that actually are, val are valid is the voice acting and some lines that were changed from one of the characters. That's... Other than that, most of them are just dumb arguments. I mean, here's the thing. When you're redoing a game and you have to use, like, an old master file, it's the same in animation. Some things are going to be corrupted and some things probably have to be recorded. Oh, no, that's you not can't... the problem. That's not the problem. It's that, um... They wanted to re they replace all the actors because they made every single line in the game voiced, as in like all NPC dialogues, all call dialogues from Otis, um, a lot of dialogues that Frank will have with the NPCs. Essentially, they, well, they wanted to add a voice actor for everything. And the problem is, I doubt TJ. Uh, TJ Rotolo said he wanted to come back to be Frank, but Capcom just never called him. Wait, did they have the goats from fucking Catherine? Oh, this is before Catherine. Oh, I was gonna say they look like her. I mean, they're real bad these games. But yeah. Dude, I want more games in like the Catherine universe. I doubt it. But also, another dumb reason that the game's getting shit on is because of the erotic attack, which I checked. Because here's the thing: people made a big deal about it, and I'm like, does it affect the game that much? I said, I looked up just how much of the game it affects. It only affects like a few missions. Other than that, that's it. Oh my god, there's porn in my rated in my adult video game. The only downside I have is that, like, um... Wait, they... Wait, what do you mean erotica? They put, pen, like, porn in it? No, it's more like, because there's a thing where, um... Apparently, if you take a certain snapshot at a certain time, it'll give you points for, like... You know how there's, like, a bunch of tags for taking some pictures in Dead Rising? Uh-huh. Like, and it'll say, like, oh, this is horror, this is, like, funny, this is, like, that. There was an erotica tag, and they removed that. Only for me to discover that, and I thought, huh, does it affect gameplay that badly? Let me check. 
And I saw it only for like one or one or two missions, essentially. Part of the ESRB is being weird. That and also because of the fact, from what I can tell, the tag barely is involved in any gameplay. As in, you barely ever get the chance to see it, so it's not like it's useful. The thing I wish the ESRB would start doing is if your game is any sort of loot boxes, immediate M rating. I know. What's funny is I think they were considering that, but probably got bought off. Well, you know, other countries do that. But yeah. It's not that I hate the mechanic; it's that I don't think you should be you should be putting that in kids' games. Or anything lower than they... Or no, anything lower than T rating, you should not be putting that in. And also, another thing they said is the game is too dark. Here's the thing, the areas in the original game were meant to be dark as well. Oh, I thought you meant like in tone. I'm like, it's Resident Evil, but you think we're behind. No, it's made, in the, and it's made in the RE engine. What do you expect? And they're saying, oh, the game's not as colorful. Yeah, because the RE engine is not really made for that type of stuff. Whatever they black magic they did with SF6 is the exception. But most of the time, the RE engine is made for like gritty and dark environments. Dude, old CRTs were just dark in general. Like, if you, uh, like I used to play Oblivion on old CRT and I had to have brightness in that game at max or was, you couldn't see it. But yeah, it's it's a really weird argument. I don't know why it's a thing. The art style of this is reminding me of the final dungeon of Persona 5. Oh boy, I wonder where the art direction's from. I wonder who made the art. Nice. I have two. It's funny, I have the oldest prints of the second movie and the newest prints of the second movie. Like, who remembers when DVDs came in those weird cases where you had to open the front and then open it like a book? Like a snap and diary thing? Anyone? Don't say that, please. Don't. Don't. You probably don't, but I do. I uh, know I do as well. I have played this game before. Uh, yes. It has like a um, flip thing in the front. Yeah. So. Have I played? Have I played this game? Have I played this game before? Yes, I have. I played it in high school. Um, and I've been putting it off for a while now. And I was like, and I started streaming in the beginning of the. Simon, year. I'll tell you one thing. The worst DVD cases ever made were the fucking Xbox 360 cases. Do you know how many of those cases have broken on oh, me God, over those, the years? God, those things fucking suck, man. Like, um... We went from quality PS2 and Xbox cases to the shit game cases we have now, which always fucking crack. break. But yeah, yeah, Xenian, I have played this game before in high school, and I, I've just, like, started streaming recently, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'll stream SMT. And since then, we've been doing this. The texture on that light is annoying me. I can see the picture shining through. Well, it's 1080p. What do you expect? Oh, oh, it's oh, it's you! Hey, Elagor, oh. how you doing? Dude, I sketched the weirdest thing the other day. I don't know if I sent it to yeah, you. Yeah, you sent it to me. It's I, it's, I it's got stuff. like inspiration from like a pig monster. Oh, uh, Zinny, big SMT fan. Um, I've been recently getting into a lot of SMT. It wasn't until high school so I started really getting into it. Like, um, I think we streamed one of the ride. We streamed Ride 01. Streamed SMT3. Streamed a bit of SMT5 Vengeance, because I own the vanilla version. Um, own most of the Personas, the modern trilogy, not like the OGs, which I want to, which we're streaming through. We're going to do Eternal Punishment next. Um, I'm more of a fan of creature collecting S uh, games like Pokemon and like Persona. Yeah. I really got an SMT that Specifically much. P5. This man's only played P5. He played SMT5, but he got. I can't wait to watch you but gut it from. Uh, in freaking uh, uh, P2. Oh, speaking of which, tomorrow's Friday. I can revive the Nuzlocke if I show choose. Yeah, which tomorrow, if that's the case, then tomorrow's Nuzlocke, I guess. Though I might give that a rest for my own sanity for now. Yeah, you might as well just do a regular Pokemon stream if that's the case. Like, or uh, like, or like, yeah. instead of doing an Apocalypse, start simple. Um, don't like do like, like. Like, start simple, essentially, because it seems like an apocalypse, with, an apocalypse with Platinum seems way too far-fetched for now. What I might do is I might set my Switch up to my capture card and run some cassette piece. That game is really good. Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, dude. This man wants to play Coliseum. Are we talking about my first Pokemon game I ever owned? Yes. yes. He want, yes. You want to stream Coliseum? I got that. Okay, let me tell the story of how I got that game. So I was at the mall. And okay. me and my brother were allowed to get one game each. This was before GameStop existed, because I'm this fucking old, okay? This was before specialty game stores. Dude, so I've that been... meant 
Oh, you're very close to being concept east. Oh, keep going, man. So this map, the only stores that sold gambits in the mall were like clothing stores, so we had slim picking selections. So I ended up getting this shitty ass Sonic game for the Game Boy, and my brother, because of a temper tantrum, got Pokemon Coliseum. Why was it too expensive at the time? It was just sitting on the discount rack in Sears. How the fuck was that? Oh fuck! I'm stoned. Fuck. It was about a year or two. It's, I think XD was out at the time. It might have been new still. I don't remember. Games I feel like were cheaper back then. I can't just be fucking crazy. And then there was a time after that when we were allowed to get one game each, and I picked uh, Mario Party 7, and my brother picked fucking. Back when I had a GameCube, my brother picked uh, Naruto Ultimate Nin or Naruto Clash of the Ninja for those who are that fucking old. Fuck! Nice. I fucking hate stone. Coliseum doesn't date you. It's the fact that you said you were shopping at a Sears. Bitch! That was my dad's favorite store. <laughs> wait, oh wait, now that you say that, oh fuck, I believe I forgot. Remember Sears Tower? No. Oh, then you're not that old, I guess. Ryan, we're gonna get along great. Oh, uh, we are, because I like to bully this man with his age uh, before he went on hiatus. Uh, I would Listen, bully I this. I this in chat, because I'm assuming most of our chat are probably Gen Z or my age. Yeah, mostly his age, because me and Pretty there's sure a. Jet's my age, is <laughs> Yeah, Doc's your age, near your age, Jet's your age, JK's five years older than you, because um, JK has a kid. Do Arkham, but the thing is, they didn't exactly get why Arkham was good. <laughs> so they just kind of. Yeah, the problem. Yeah, Germany is a problem because you can't really sell anything involving Nazis to Germany. Because... Yeah, and yeah, this is why. And the thing is, that's why I said post World War One, not World War Two. You know, Ubisoft does put like alternative history in their games, so they can just either a cut that shit or b. Oh, dude, I dude, I remember one time. Oh my god, it was so cringe. It was cringe for me. It was elementary school. I still remember it. It was in my history class. One of my friends was a big AC nerd, and he loved Assassin's Creed at that point. And um, he said the dumbest shit. <laughs> and you can probably guess where this is going. Eddie. You can probably guess where this is going when the moment it's I said he's- It's being in every Assassin's Creed game that there are moments that aren't actual history because this game is made by a ton of people with different views, beliefs, religions, etc. Well, kids can't read, so... <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking like cryo freezer? I don't know how they're gonna, like, continue from that. Well, Alien 3 happened, so... What else? Still between the events of Alien 2. Oh, Romulus is like, in, oh wait, I thought it was in between 1 and 2, or is that Alien Isolation? Well, the first one in this new trilogy that we've been watching was a prequel, so... Oh, it's like a pre prequel to Alien 3? Prequel to the first one? <laughs> no, apparently they said it's like a prequel to Alien 3, like it's, it's like an interquel. No, because the second one they literally show where the alien virus came, or the aliens came from, it's like from a, a plant on this one planet that they found that's like... Oh, like alien, like all oh, the new ones. They meant the old ones. I got new ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are people to the first one. And they show where the aliens came from in the second one. It's like some kind of microorganism that was pretty different plants on the planet that they went to. And the stupid thing is, if they just would have waited like a month to go to the other planet, they would have been completely fine. But because the movie had to happen, dumb logic is dumb logic. And also corporate greed. Not even corporate greed. They're just like, oh, we can set it quicker here. Not realizing that uh, that's a dump. If you're ever in a sci-fi horror movie, if it ever seems too good to be true, it is. I mean, isn't that with most the plot of most films, though? Like, they're trying to deal with that type of stuff, or like, you know, <laughs> like allegories for corporate greed. <laughs> yes, corporate and greed is the actual villain of the entire franchise. I mean, for fuck's like, sake. I mean, for fuck's sake, literally the entirety of Alien is because of corporate greed. I'm looking at you, Waylon Yutani. You know what's funny? I can't sit for the first one because it just didn't age well. What do you mean? It aged perfectly well. I might not. I might have said some of them blend together to me, so I might have sat through it at one point. 
I just don't remember. Was the first one the one where they killed one of the aliens with that weird tractor thing? No, they killed it. No, that's aliens, not alien. Which so I stupid, might have after the first and second. Which stupid fucking title, by the way. Aliens, great film. But if you're gonna call your film sequel Aliens, at least say Alien 2. You know what I've been trying to find every time I go thrifting? There's a special edition of Aliens on Laserdisc. Of course, I don't want it for the Laserdisc, I want it for the artwork, because the fucking artwork on the Laserdisc is fucking cool and you can hang it like a poster. I'm, I can probably just get a print of it, but I want the actual Laserdisc yeah. version of it. I, yeah. I think um, what I want to get is... I think my old headphones are starting to wake wear down on me because um, because it's been so hot outside and I've been using them outside. My sweat has kind of gotten into the foam and it's starting to smell. And I'm like, oh god, I need to get some new pairs. I mean, I like well wearing in my headphones. I know the problem. I is mean, it's I so also like, I obviously wiped them down, but I. Um... Are you talking about your earbuds or your Ear PC gaming headphones? No, no, I paste. No, I use headphones for my phone and headphones <laughs> for gaming on my PC. Kid. That's fine. My mom can't do it as she's infirm, so I'm in charge. Yay. She's a really good baby, though, so. Yeah. My brother's kids are good, too. I have no bad, like, nieces or nephews. Uh, I have a niece. You know, she's like... adorable. She knows who I am. You know, my brother is. I have a niece. Oh, what? She's I have a niece, and she's adorable. Well, she's my. My cousin, oh, she's my cousin's daughter. So that does, does that count as making me her uncle, or is it just a cousin? She's your cousin's daughter. I think you're technically a cousin, or an uncle. <laughs> I don't know. It confuses the shit out of me. An uncle is when they're your sibling's kid, and well, then a cousin is when like that kid has a kid. And you're like, it's confusing. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm her uncle. But yeah, it's, she's adorable. Like, um, although, yeah, although her brother is kind of scared of me because he's not, he's not used to seeing me because, you know, they live a bit far away from me so they're not used to coming over. And the times they do come over, he freaks out and it's like, oh, I can live with now. So, when I was watching my uh, brother's kid, my, other nie my niece on his side, <laughs> she takes my Switch, right? And then goes, MINE! 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 <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. It was so funny. I know that feeling. I know that feeling all too well, but I do it to my siblings. I do it to my sisters. What I do is that they have food. I'm like, oh, is that for me? Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. Uh... <laughs> and and I'm, I'm such a fucking dick when it comes to food. Because what I'll do is that, like, if my sisters have food that looks good to me, I'll just yoink it and eat it as fast as I can. Also, can I say one thing? What? Butt paste is the most annoying thing to get off your hands. It's what you put on a baby when they're like chafing badly. What the fuck is butt and... paste? Okay, so if the baby gets diaper rash, you put butt paste on because I've been changing diapers recently. And that shit is so annoying to get off your hands, bro. Oh, fuck. Even when you're washing. Luckily, we never used that, thank god. We never got to and use that. And if your baby ever gets like a diaper rash, you're gonna want to use it. Ha ha! I know how to change the diaper makes me feel even older. Uh, uh, here's the thing: I know how to change them too. The only difference is there's the only difference is I only did with my siblings. Yeah. Hey, there's nothing wrong with utilizing the butt paste. I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying I don't know what it is. Dude, I did an adult today and I unclogged the toilet. <laughs> oh, you were stuck on toilet duty. Yeah, I know that feeling all too well. I used to think. Never mind, it's gonna be too gross. Uh... <laughs> Let me just say this: I was the resident toilet clogger. Oh, I am too. I have to do it. Yeah. Anyway, I have to head off. My little brother's up, but I uh, hope you enjoyed my company chat. I'll try and be on tomorrow. Yeah, he'll try to. Hopefully, he will. Consider this another one of my really awkwardly timed cameos. Yes. He'll be on full time tomorrow, so don't worry. Bye, chat. Bye bye. Love you all except for Jet. Just kidding, Jet. You know you love you. Resident Toilet Clogger sounds like something he would put on your resume. <laughs> Did you guys ever hear the poop knife stories for going around TikTok? It's hilarious. No. Hey, don't worry, Jet. He's coming back tomorrow, and this time he's coming back full time. Don't worry. You're good. 
Don't worry, Jed, I'll be back. And we sure to make plenty of senior boomer citizen jokes. Yay. From what I can tell. But the thing is, from what I can see, the, the good outweighs the bad. So it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm still hyped for it. Uh, can you share the uh, game with me again? Oh yeah, hold on. Hold on, there we go. Go live. But yeah, I can understand why some people are upset. It's just that some of the complaints just feel overblown, while others, while there's barely any that feel valid. Oh, there's a 40th anniversary edition of Alien? Not a sick artwork on the front. Yeah, it's a sh it's a shame. Like some people are just throwing it off because of that wall, like the one thing, and it's kind of annoying. Cat is now in lovey dubby mode. He just realized I'm in here. He's like, oh, he's talking with weird friend again. Time for pets. Time for pets. Yeah, it's just yeah. A lot of the Dead Rising. Is there a cat living in your place now? No, not exactly. She just lives. They just live under my house. They're like barn cats. They don't live. They're like technically not mine, but they are living in my house or under my house. So it's like they're technically living here. It, or if you live in the lap of luxury, just don't forget that. Yeah, it's just really weird stuff. But I am hyped for it though. I really want to check it out. What do you mean? Just kidding. That is what ages you. What do you mean? Oh, you mean because uh, of him not knowing what hitting the gritty is? I don't speak Gen Z or Gen Alpha. <laughs> I like how- You gotta understand, I grew up when dude and bro were a thing. I still use that as well. I'm still wrapping my head around lit. You, dude, lit still means amazing. What do you mean? I know dude does. and bro are still a thing. What's hitting the gritty? <laughs> wow. Listen, dude, this man's a millennial. He does not know the ways of our language, so... You gotta tolerate him, okay? Ch Jet, get that shit off of my screen. Delete that. What the fuck? Get <laughs> that. the stupid Ohio fans attack. What the fuck does Ohio fans attack me? I've been hearing that one a lot lately. Dude, I know what the Skibbity in Ohio are, but I don't know what the hell Phantom Tax is. I, I know what Rizzler is. I don't know is. either. It's, it's like a recent thing. Man. Yeah. What the fuck? The only ones I Not know are Rizzler, like Skibbity, and Ohio. That's the only ones I know. I don't know what the hell Phantom Tax is. They have nothing to Skibbity, Ohio Phantom Tax. Yeah, I don't know Hang what on, the Let me try and do that. Let me try and say that in a uh, actual voice acting. Voice. Oh, no. Don't want to be... Yeah. Oh, Damn no. that! Give me no, Ohio no. Phantom Tax. Oh no! You made it worse. <laughs> no! You made it Not worse. Not so. What the hell did I just say? Uh, Chief, I have no idea. Are we still <laughs> catching Shiro, by the way? No. U.S. citizens <laughs> finding out Ohio exists through memes instead of geography. <laughs> I'm a huge stepped up fan, and I fucking love the voice. I get my deep voice inspiration from fucking uh. The voice actor who played uh, Light's dad in uh, Death Note. Yeah. Do you know? I love the Death Note bridge joke. It's like, do you know why I stand like this, Makoto? Yes, Chief. We've been over this. This reminds me of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Chief. Yes. Oh yeah. Speaking of Jesus. Um. Oh, yeah. So the Face Day Night got finally got remastered. Is it out yet? It's out. It's out, and you haven't purchased it, and we haven't streamed it. Here's the problem. Um, in, in some weird god, in some weird stroke of bad game design luck, they somehow fucked up the release of a visual novel. How the fuck do you even do that? Because what they did is that... They did it. Yes, the the ever loving fuck out of it. No, there's just a lot of weird bugs, CG bugs. Like one scene is like, oh, like we're supposed to be here. Psych! It's fucking Berserker. <laughs> what studio released it? Type Moon, aka the creators of the damn franchise. 
Was it actually released in proper English or just Japanese? It, oh no, it's in proper English. But for some reason, if you play the game in like English, the game just bugs out. Wow, they fucked up. They're gonna have to like hell patch that. Oh, they did. They're trying to right now. Um, they're busy patching it as we speak. Um, but I'm like, I am that. But I'm, I can't say that while reading it on the script. But like, how the fuck do you fuck up the release of a VN? Like, that is talent right there, dude. <laughs> That would be Spike, dude, can you imagine Spike Chunsoft did that? Half of their games are VNs. Hey, JK. Uh, but yeah. Also, Danganronpa is getting a spiritual successor again. Another spiritual successor, like an actual spiritual successor. Another one? It's like a zombie defense thing, but a few of the devs who did, like, the visual novel work for Danganronpa are doing the visual novel stuff, and you can tell it shows. The game looks awful. Is that a hack and slash? No, it's a uh, turn-based strategy game, believe it or not, uh, like Fire Emblem. And I'm like, we have to buy this game and we have to play it because, oh my god, it looks like it's going to be fucking terrible. Because apparently they're making an action RPG. I don't know if it's free to play, though. I think it's the same people that did Zanky Zero, so uh, if we buy oh. that we stream it, we're going to have a field day! Dude, you're streaming Zanky Zero. I am not touching that shit. I didn't say we're streaming Zanky Zero, I said we're streaming their new game, which looks just as terrible. Which, oh, which by the way, chat, we tried streaming Zanky Zero a while back when we used to twit, do a Twitch. I think we told the story playing times. Zinny Year News. I re-downloaded this bitch to PS5, and for whatever reason, the file corrupted. So the gra some some graphics weren't showing on screen properly, and, and the game kept crashing past the first chapter, so I had to uninstall it and reinstall the entire thing. And I also lost my stupid demo save data, so I couldn't just fucking skip the prologue. Yes, and I looked at that, and I'm like, that game looks so fucking jank. It's not even It's not funny. made it. I don't know why they got the idea that they're like, hey, let's combine fucking survival, a survival game, like, with a, with a With a dungeon crawler. With a dungeon crawl, with a uh, old-style dungeon crawler. Nothing can go wrong in it, and when I say old style, I mean like first Elder Scrolls. Like old SM, style. like SM, old school SMT dungeon. Like dungeons. old school fucking PC dungeon crawler, where you move like one screen in like a 3D cube. Like yeah, like the first SMT. It's it's bad. It's really fucking bad. I looked at that and I'm like, they're charging. I got the chapter three in my personal playthrough, and I'm like, fuck this. And these motherfuckers. And these fuckers have the gall, the fucking gall, to release this game at 60 bucks and they have not lowered the price since. Oh, by the way, if you die more than like seven times, your whole playthrough is closed. Yeah, also, there's a piss mechanic. I mean, you know, if you don't pee, your character just dies. It, no, you pee yourself in front of a boss and you get all these debuffs and you just get murdered. And when your characters are all in the kid form, it's like, all right, we gotta use the bathroom before we fucking leave for this field trip, children. And it's like, why? Also, they had to set. They also took a month to censor the game because some genius thought it'd be a good idea to uh, leave underage nudity in the game before before porting it to the U.S. Yeah, which is you know what's gonna be fucked up. There's gonna be those guys saying, "Oh, censorship is bad." Um, I don't know about that, buddy. Like, <laughs> and it also annoyed me because I was ready to buy the game when it came out, but no, they fell, I fell for the old mate by Danganronpa death trip. Yeah, that's a trope we need to get used to, because I felt, because I think we all learned our lesson after Mighty Number no. 9 came out. Just because it's made by legendary game devs doesn't mean it's good. Here's... But now Kadaka is working in his own studio, and I've played everything he's released from that studio so far, and it's all F been pretty good. Funny you say that, because... You say Kodaka's the one that basically made Spike Chunks off. Here's the problem. When the people that made Zenki Zero, I think I told you this a while back, I have a theory that it was their Zenki Zero was made without Kodaka. Yeah, that, and also because I have a feeling the people that were making the game were the B team of my Spike Chunks off, as in the people that were not the best at their job working there. Well, I played every game that, like, uh, 2Q's released so far and watched every show they've done. And they've done some great fucking work, honestly. Like they do, they do a lot of anime. They do a lot of like games. I played their like weird mobile game. Apparently, it's not bad. It's like a baseball thing. Uh, I watched the anime, which right when I thought I could take it seriously, a dude set this oh no. on fire. Here's the thing. My ass off. Here's the thing. Igarashi is the exception because that guy clearly has a lot of passion for what he does. 
Anyway, I've been playing, again, I've been playing, Met speaking of Metroid Vanias, I've been playing Metroid Dread, and I'm like, where's every penny? One thing I'll say with all these, they do really good chips. Like, I got their, uh, I got their chips first. It's really hard to fuck up chips. Yeah, because they're just... Oh, uh, yours doesn't do frozen? Oh, uh, yeah, they are frozen. You can pop them in the microwave for 2 minutes 30. Perfectly fucking cooked nuggets. It's incredible. Wait, you have frozen nuggets in a McDonald's? What the fuck? No, 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 I'm talking about the Aldi's nuggets. You pop those bitches in the microwave for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Perfect fucking nuggets, dude. Nice. Yeah, dude, all these like cheaper than all the other grocery stores right now because I get a lot of their stuff from Europe. Makes sense. Oh, so it's not, oh, so no wonder the nuggets are shit. And it's not that it's off brand. Wait, all the nuggets? I'm saying all the nuggets are made. Probably why they're good because they're from Europe. Oh, you're, those gross, those are they're an air, you have an air fryer? Oh, that makes sense. They're healthier too. Dude, air fryers are great. Yeah, I they. They make food amazing, and they're healthier, too, because you don't use oil. Because they get rid of the grease. Yeah. They're healthier. So that means you don't have to feel as bad for eating fried food. I want to go to fish fry one of these years, but we don't really have... This might be living near the coast, but it really happens. Do you know an RPG I want to stream with someday? I really want to stream it someday when I get the chance. Which RPG? Parasite Eve. We streamed that, didn't we? Or is that on the other thing? On the other channel. I want to stream it so bad. Because apparently the there's... The Edge channel. Yeah. Because because apparently... Um, there's a dude... Someone's making a, um, a game inspired by it. And I'm like, fuck, and I want to play Parasite Eve now. Dude, you don't know... You know what I want to get back into, but I don't think you'd be into it. What? It's not that I'm not into it, it's just that we're focused on fate. RPG7, yes, JK, we stream a lot of RPGs in our last panel. Yeah, we, that was our gimmick last time. Essentially, what we would do is stream a shitload of RPGs on the hardest difficulty. And, uh... <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how that... So this four difficulty levels for Metroid Prime, uh, or Metroid Red, normal is hard enough. And they decided to just be like, fuck it, we'll just piss you off even more. Uh, because, it's doing some weird bullshit, um... Fuck, what do I do? Oh, wait a minute. Whoop! Jump off. Then... Fuck! <laughs> but, yeah... I, like, Lollipop, like, the game looks super weird, not from, like, a, uh, like, a, yeah. By the IP from Dante Alighieri, good luck. What? Oh, oh, okay, okay, JK. Oh, I remember something about Lollipop Chainsaw, I think it was censored because there's a villain who's trans and they're removing some dialogue from one of the sisters. Oh! What, no? Apparently one of the original villains was trans or something. Oh. And they're, like, removing some dialogue of one of the sisters, because remember, OG Lollipop had a lot of swearing, and I mean a fuck ton of swearing. Oh, I can see them removing slurs, that makes sense. That's my guess. But then why leave the original on the disc if you're gonna... Uh, maybe they're removing those lines from the original too, you never know. Anyway, uh, one of the funniest censorships I ever, I've ever personally seen, and I never noticed as a kid because I just bought it, was... The censorship they did in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! with Kaiba and Yugi versus the fucking two rare hunters on the rooftop. So, in the Japanese version, they're obviously falling to their deaths once the uh, bomb blows up the fucking glass beneath them. But in the fucking English version, instead, they said the bombs were magic shadow boxes and would poof them to the shadow realm if they lose. Yet they still show the glass breaking, and instead of like a like fall to the death, they just show a bunch of mist. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? It only took me rewatching that as an adult to notice. I mean, it makes sense. Which, by the way, sh by the way, the translation for Shadow Games comes comes from the original term Yami no Game, which translates from Dark Game, which in itself means any game to the death. 
Okay. From the ESC to the Duo. Yeah. In other words, the Shadow Realm never really existed. It was just a convenient way for the writers to get around extreme uh, things happening in the characters. Yeah, didn't they just want to, like, get away from certain stuff because of it? I mean, Merrick literally tries to murder fucking Joey in the end, but instead they, like, make the excuse that he's in a coma when he's pretty much half dead. I mean, that's, it's arguably worse. I mean, the dude got blasted by a real fucking phoenix dragon. I don't think you'd survive that unless you're stupid lucky or a main character. Hold on, what the fuck am I looking at? Um... Dude, season two got so badly censored. Like, they censored the Millennium Rod, which in itself is actually a triple weapon if you go with the original version. It's part mace, part dagger, part psychic weapon. Like, the Millennium Rod's probably the most OP Millennium I know. Oh, you can't use its magic? No problem. Think there's a fucking dagger in it and sharp ends on the front, which you can use it as a mace. Jesus Christ, what is this fucking step-by-step -step plan? Perfect. Head was getting rough. Hell dude, yeah. No, dude, no, man. They get the wood chipper. Dude, I, I don't... You ever seen those videos of, like, AI images where it's, like, fake movie posters and it's just, like, <laughs> the most fucked up shit imaginable? Speaking of, if you live in the North Carolina area, uh, they're giving away a $3,500 reward if you could uh, help them catch a pedophile that's on the loose right now. Nice. And they don't care if you beat the shit out of them either. Oh, that's been happening a lot recently. Apparently some people were like, you know what? If we know they're pedophiles and there's proof of this, let's go beat the shit out of them. <laughs> no, the dude escaped from prison during a during like one of those medical transport things they have to do. Oh yeah, I know. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, I know that, but that's been it a thing. It was a $3,500 bounty on it. It might be, th I know, it's $35,000 bounty. Yeah, but that's, that's been a thing like that was trending recently. Like some people are just like going out of their way. It's like, oh, you're a pedophile? Bet, let's go beat the shit out of you. And I'm like, okay, but does that does he need to be dead or alive? Because uh, I vote dead. A dead, only a good pedophile is a dead pedophile. Yeah. One guy watched you at the prison, right? And he's he made shirts that are like the wood chipper for 2024. In other words, pedophiles get the wood chipper. Oh, that's what prisons are. That's essentially what they are. Dude, if you do shit to children or women, they'll kick the shit out of you in prison. Dude, I, no cap. Yeah, it's it's so bad that they were forced to make a separate cell for them. Yeah, it's called protective custody, but some guards are like, oops. Oh, it's like, oh, I right? accidentally left the door open for this man. What a I accidentally travesty. put him in with a mass murderer. Oh, you know what happened in one prison that's really interesting? I know I should go, but I want to tell the story. So, I was watching a video, right? The same dude I was just talking about. He was telling the story of how uh, he was in prison with one dude who lost his kid to a pedophile, right? And guess what happened? That same pedophile was jailed for that crime, and the dad who lost his kid to that pedophile fucking killed his ass. Oh, yeah, wasn't that the one we just straight up domed like, him live on TV? Amazing! Is that the one where, like, he domed the guy live on TV? No, I think he sprayed him with what's called prison maze, which is essentially microwave with the homemade pepper spray, which melts the skin. Oh, that's so fucked. <laughs> oh, one guy he knew in there got stabbed with fucking knife covered in feces, which is like perfect. That sounds great. Like, hell yeah, get him. Get that motherfucker. We don't need the death penalty when it comes to fucking pedophiles. They'll take care of it themselves, the prisoners. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. Pri <laughs> this is why the quote professionals have standards exists. Yeah. After anyway, all, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. See you, man. Fuck, I bring that up. See you. See you tomorrow, man. Dude, I want to check out DDS someday because it looks so good. Like it's right after Rido, I want to play through it because I know DDS is one of like the. Oh, a fan favorite, like DDS 1 and 2. That's like one of the better stories. Because there, there's a bunch of SMT games that are on my list that I want to check out. But I just I don't want to end up overloading myself with too many SMT games. So I just want to try and check it out at some point after I'm done with like maybe SMT 3 or something. Because uh, on Tuesdays, it's Persona. Thursdays, it's this game. And Sunday is Fire Emblem Fates, which, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Fire Emblem Fates, it's a hell of a game, isn't it?
Definitely a game of the times, that's for sure. Although, the fan art with Camille is amazing. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I want to check our DDS someday. It kind of makes me wish they remastered it, because a lot of fans want the game to be remastered. Because it looks, because it looks great. I want to play it, but like, there are some things that don't make it age well. Like in terms of graphics, like, I know the engine they used is hard coded to be 30 FPS, which is not gonna lie, kind of a lie as well. Because I played through the Rido game, and that game is like 60 FPS, which tells me that they modified the engine to play at a higher frame rate. And I think it is because most of the. Um, yeah, but here's the thing. It sold horribly, but that didn't stop stop them from making Soul Hackers 2, did it? It may have sold horribly, but it didn't stop them from making Soul Hackers 2, which says a lot. Because here's the thing. SMT5 Vengeance and Persona 5, shit on it on those two games as much as you want. Because I've seen a lot of people shit on P5 even though it's great. And Vengeance, which has its flaws, but they're still good. Here's the thing, they were willing to remaster SMT3. That should tell you a lot. SMT3 sold like shit and was shot on by fans when it released. Yet nowadays it's seen as a masterpiece. So... Something tells me that Alice is hearing us. They know fully well that... They're listening to us what we want. I mean, they, people were hyped when Soul Hackers 2 came out, or was announced, and they were like, hyped for it. I bought it when it came out, and then, you know... Everyone else saw that went. But, yeah. If they were to do DDS, I wouldn't mind if they remastered it because that's one of the better SMTs. We're speaking of episode Igus. Oh god, if we're gonna do episode Igus, I need to play through Vanilla 3 then episode Igus. Ugh. Oh, I, I heard episode Igus sucks. Isn't that bad? Yeah, it was popular enough. Question is um for those that played P3 vanilla uh, fest specifically was the was the answer that good or was it that is it bad? Yeah, cause that's the main um, drawback I've been hearing that people say it's like really like okay it wasn't the best but it was like eh, that's what I've been hearing about about the answer. That's what I've been hearing about it, that the answer is like not that good, which is why I'm surprised people are hyped for... This is the Persona 5 hype. Yeah, that's probably it. Um, but essentially, it's like I've heard some people get upset with the answer, where it's like... Why? Oh... Oh... Oh, so essentially the answer is bullshit, is that what you're telling me? So essentially the answer is bullshit. If that's the case. But yeah, in terms of like DDS and the Rido games getting remastered, I would love for those games to get remastered. Oh yeah, wasn't the mediocre final boss like the MC or some shit? Yeah, that's the thing I noticed with Alice's re-releases. Uh, with the exception of Four Golden, the re-releases tend to kind of suck when it comes to the bonus and stuff, bonuses in involved in it. Because I know when Strange Journey Redux came out. Ah, uh, okay. Because I remember, um, I know the remaster for Strange Journey Redux on 3DS was kind of hated upon by fans because um, they kind of went overboard with the quality of life improvements and messed with the artwork. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, now I see why. Yeah, that's understandable. I can see why that's the case. Yeah, I, I consider the answer the same vein in Portable, because do a lot of people- A lot of fans love FEMC, but don't like Portable. Which is funny. I remember when Re Reload was coming out, they were hoping that if they were to re-release the game, they would add FEMC, which... They say no. They say that. But, I think you already know this by now, I told this a while back. Atlas has a bad habit of re-releasing their games every couple of years. And that's a trend that's been going on since the 90s. So, something tells me they're going to remaster 3 Reload for PS6 and just add in the 
like a couple years on the line and then add in like the, the option for Fency. Because fans want Fency. I mean, for fuck's sake, they already modded a way for her to be in the game. Yeah, you, yeah, they said that. They said that they, there's no way it's happening. You say that, you say that, yet they remastered 5, even though they said there was no plans. So, yeah, I call bullshit on it, because I learned to not trust them when it comes to re-releases, because um, at, at some point, I think when 5 Royal came out, I noticed a pattern where they would re-release their games. Uh, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna sit this one out. I'm gonna wait it out until they re-release the game. And with five, and with Vengeance, it just confirmed that. Yeah, no plans is a no. Which here's the thing. Right now, they're probably working on P6 and Refantasio, which I want to check out when it comes out. It looks sick. But other than that, yeah, it's empty. Yeah, I just... Hopefully someday if I get the game on PC, I can just add in Fancy as a mod. The thing... And the thing is, the mod looks great. There's been a lot of effort going down putting in the game. They even brought back the old cutscenes from Portable. For, like, Fancy. It looks great. <laughs> what took you so long? I had a hard time figuring out those switches at the storehouse. Yeah, it sucks, but make a dream, right? I'm Kai Wan. Sorry, but I can't let you have the kilo. So take a hike. <laughs> Not only that, it's been confirmed that Sega wants to bring out more Persona games. And the thing is, this is going to push Atlas at some point. At some point, the Atlas is going to be like... At some point, Atlas is going to be forced to remake their old games. Because I know they're going to remaster. Because I've been hearing a lot of rumors about a Persona 2, 1 and 2 remake. Which, if they're going to remake 2... If they're going to remake 2, they might as well just combine both games. Because um, both games are 40 hours long. And the average game after Persona 3 is 80 hours. So... They might as well just combine both games. Like, I know they're not going to do an FF7 style remake for it, because that would be stupid. Why would they do that? Um, but, yeah, it would be cool if they remastered it for modern platforms. The thing is, though, that would require a lot of effort, which I don't think they want to put in. Yes. Yeah, and they're forcing Atlas to try to make more P Persona games, which... Oh, boy. If that's the case, we might as well get a P1 and 2 remake, because, you know... <laughs> yeah, can't wait Persona remake and rebirth. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think we might get an Innocent Sin remake first, and then an e and then uh, Eternal Punishment remake next. That's how I think it's going to go down. Yeah, it's more likely. Not only that, it's not going to be as physically taxing as other as Modern Persona. Because Modern Persona requires a lot of scripting. And I mean a lot of scripting. So, it is entirely possible. Yeah, P2 will probably be like Soul Hackers 2. Like, not too big dungeons, but... I wouldn't be surprised if they. I wouldn't be surprised if they um, didn't do that. If they did it like Soul Hackers 2. That's how I feel like it would be. Because the game is not like your modern Persona game. It's very much a dungeon crawler. <laughs> do they bring back Kaneko? Oh, it'll be amazing. Because his art is. Here's the thing, when you think of SMT in terms of art style, you think Kazuma Kaneko. Kaneko, that's what you think of. Because his art style defines SMT as a whole. Nothing can ever replace his art. Like, sure, the new art is good, but... 
Cosmo Conoco is just too iconic. I'm Kaiwan, but I'm not one with tequila. Can't you tell the difference, fool? Oh no, it's not a bad game. But because of the fact that, you know, Soul Hackers 2 released the way it did, people are not exactly fond of it. So, I don't blame people for kind of hating on it. It's just, you know, it's not what we expected. I think the best comparison for that game is that people said it feels like a high budget PS Vita game. That's the thing I've been hearing. <laughs> Maybe we could do it after Fire Emblem, who knows. But yeah, it feels like a high budget PS Vita game if that's what it feels like. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, a lot of the art style was stylized for the man. Like, a lot of it, like, there's a reason SMT3's art style still ages super well. Yeah, it would be cool. Cause I, cause like I said, a lot of people say that Soul Hackers 2 feels like, um, like I said, it feels like a high budget Vita game, which depending on your taste is good because I know some Vita games are really good. <laughs> yeah, well, here's the thing. A lot, when every time people say that about the game, they don't really mean it in the graphic sort of way. They mean it in like, um, it feels like an old school JRPG, like on the PS2 and PS Vita. Because, if you know this, the Vita was a JRPG machine. That thing had basically every JRPG in its pocket. The Trails games, Persona 4 Golden, Final Fantasy X, X2 Remastered, um, a bunch of others. Like uh, I think there was like a Soul Sacrifice, which is basically just monster, a Monster Hunter type game. Um, let's see, what else? There was a bunch of RPGs for the system, like um, also Odin Sphere, Left of Sphere, which is also great. Check it out. Yes, yes, JK. Old school is PS2. But yeah, it, it it's a decent game. But I don't know. There's something about it just kind of. Uh. Oh. <laughs> the funny thing is, you say that, but then they're gonna be those P5 fans that think, you know, because the Persona 5 is a perfect game, that there are no flaws. There are some flaws in the game. Like, one of the main complaints is that Persona 5 is way too long, which I kind of agree with them, because that game just... It feels like there's too much going on, and that's why they realize, like, fuck, we need a... I feel like what would have happened is that we, we would have gotten a P2 situation, where if they didn't re release it the way it was, we would have had two games. One, it's like the Innocence Sin, the other's like the Eternal Punishment. But I don't think they wanted to separate into two games, just release it into one game. Yeah... Yeah, it's it's an okay game in my opinion. Like not the best one. Like I said, the story just felt kind of generic to me. Oh yeah, here's the thing. Oh no, oh, no, hundred uh, percent. Like it's like here's the thing. It's an okay game to me. Like it's not the best RPG I've played, but it's like it's a decent time waster. So I personally think the game should have been on Switch because that's what it feels like. If like I said, if like I, I'm gonna keep repeating it, it feels like a high-budget Vita game. So it would have been cool if they ported it to the Vita. It would have been great, but they didn't. <sighs> but hey, what can you do about it? If it was made earlier, it would have been perfectly fine. It would fit in right around. They should have released it around. 
You know what? They should have made it by the time around the time um, the remake came out for 3DS. Because I know they remade the game, and they remade Soul Hackers and added in Rido. Which, not gonna lie, cool secret boss. Nice goodie for justifying a re-release. That's one thing I do really appreciate about our Atlas, though. When they re-release their games, they always add in new stuff most of the time. So, they know fully well that we don't want just a, a remaster. They want to add in new shit. Oh, okay. Now I see what happened. Okay, yep. Okay, now I get it. Oh, yeah. You know what? No, I, yeah, that's understandable. Huh, that's understandable. My guess is that the ones that were, that wanted that were really loud about it. That's my guess. Those were the ones that were like super loud about it and were not afraid to speak their mind. Like, what was her name again? It was, she was the one character. Oh, Hamaki, no Mary, Mark. Oh god. I still find that shit funny. <laughs> they named him Mark. And <laughs> it just reminds me of that one cutscene for GTA 5 where it's like, fuck you, Mark. <laughs> god damn. Naruto up no massacre. Oh god, I completely forgot. Wait, they really call the massacre in, your, in P1 in the English version? Oh, fuck, it's worse. That's pr um no, actually, there's Martinez from Strange Journey, but other than that, yeah, he's pretty much one of the only black characters. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna miss it in a weird Stockholm Syndrome kind of way. I'm not doing Snow Queen! You can go fuck off with that shit! I'm not doing Snow Queen! No! I don't want to do permadeath mode! No, fuck that! I'm not doing Snow Queen! <laughs> do not go lie, that game actually gave me Stockholm Syndrome. It's not even funny! It low-key gave me Stockholm Syndrome. I am not doing Snow Queen on Expert. You can fuck off. Will you enter? Yes. You can fuck off with that. I'm not doing that. No. Fuck off. I'm not doing it. Oh my god. That shit's funny though. <sighs> it would seem I have a visitor. Yes, you do, brother. Evidently, someone in the mantra has a brain in their head after all. I'm not even mantra, though. Well, God. this is quite the surprise. The Vegeta hairline. <laughs> you're that boy from the hospital. I'm amazed you're still alive. And judging by your appearance, you've gained considerable power. Why have you come here? Was it to see me? Yes. Really? Even though I nearly killed you, you've tracked me down to obtain the answers you <laughs> seek. Yes, it is a over, not over nine. It is a number, after all. <laughs> Very well. I commend you for reaching this place on your own. If it is truth you seek, then I will reveal everything, all there is to know of this world. Take a look at this device. Its function is to gather Magatsuhi. You must have seen one like it on the upper level. Let me ask, do you know why Magatsuhi exists? No. Remember this. Look, a bunch of red red sperms. They're just going in there. Look at that. A bunch of red sperms just swirling. Trying to reach the egg of the tornado in the middle of the tornado. In this world, you might as well be dead if you don't fully understand Magatsuhi. I mean, does that not look like sperm, dude? <laughs> 
Okay, now my mind's being dirty. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> the giant space. Shut up. Magatsuhi is a sacrificial offering. It is the power needed to call forth the god of creation. I don't know about that, brother. And without it, one cannot fulfill the purpose of this world. You see, one who possesses a strong will can change this world and everything in it. When one's ideology or reason has been spread and enough Magatsuhi gathered, God will descend from above and reshape the very foundation of the world. Yes, for the sole purpose of creation, this world of chaos was brought into existence directly by my hand. Yes, thanks for that, dick. Soon enough, my dream shall be realized. A complete circle of stillness in harmony with the workings of time. The world of Shijima will be born. The mantra believe they've destroyed this space, but as you can see, the core is fully functional. Yes, and you're essentially impregnating it. Nothing more needs to be done. I will soon have all the Magatsuhi I require. I don't know about that, brother. I don't know about that. You try, though. Now then, I believe some discipline is in order. Yes, it is, and I'm gonna beat your ass. That's what I'm gonna do. To all who oppose the assembly of Nihilo, there will be no forgiveness. I'm not seeking forgiveness, I'm seeking problems. I suggest you pay close attention and witness the ruin at hand. Using the Magatsuhi stored here, I will call on my newfound strength. The time has come. Activate the nightmare system. This seems familiar. Hold on a second. Am I right about this man being just a fully, fully realized Kandori? Am I right? Wait a minute. Hold on. Am I right? Or am I just seeing things? Because that just seems like something Kandori would do. Are you telling me Kandori, a boss in Persona 1, is the reason we have Hikawa? Not buying it. No, as an SMT fan, I refuse to acknowledge that Persona is in my SMT. So, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. Ah, oh, shit. What's he doing? Hmm. What in the hell? Oh. Oh. Oh! Ah, crap. Oh, boy. What the heck just happened? Do you understand what's happening? I don't know. I don't know, man. This system gives me total control over the flow of Magatsuhi on a worldwide scale. I don't know. This tiny facility pales in comparison. As my first target, I've selected Ike Bukuro, the mantra's home base. The Magatsuhi in that area will be depleted, and the mantra will die out in no time. Oh. I forgot to mention, your teacher plays a key part in this system. And how does she play a part? She's been a great asset to me. Her abilities as the Maiden have been truly invaluable. I don't know about that, man. Are you worried about her? Yes! Unfortunately for you, she isn't here. 
Oh, come on, man. In fact, I doubt you will ever see her again. May I ask why? After all, she is the maiden of creation, not the teacher you once knew. You were not meant to survive the conception in the first place. Your attachment to the previous world will only serve to deepen your despair. I should not have been so merciful back then. I mean, isn't that what demons are made of? Chaotic energy? So it makes sense. Allow me to end your pain and suffering right here and now. I don't know what hopes and dreams you've brought with you, but you can accomplish nothing in this world. Now, go and oh. the masses that fell before you. Oh, hey, kitty. Uh, it seems he has summoned his fursona. Yeah, I know. Like, Magatsune has been a thing since the very first SMT, so that makes sense. So I see this man has summoned his fursona. Okay. Aha! A Karakarn. Oh. Frick! Okay. So I'm just blocking, I guess. This is just passing our turns. Ha ha! Dick! Baby Ha <laughs> Moron! Moron! I mean, it's uh, if I would do a, a proper strength build, it would make sense. Probably would. Okay, I need to be smart about this. I need to heal everyone. Now this is a proper combat system. None of that bullshit with P1. There we go. Attack our Habaki, please. Never mind. How your crit cancelled out, jackass. Super Kaja. Vision hit rate increased. First off, screw you. Yeah, it is. It's also lucky for me that I have Arhabaki on me. And the counter's working. Fuck! Okay, now I gotta be smart about this. Uh, pass. That way, if he counters, he just hits him. A car, Karn. Touch a car. Um, just passing. Do another healing round. Pass. And attack. Because it cancels out. Fuck. Hmm. The counter works. Fuck. I need to nerf him somehow. The thing is, I don't have anything for that. Which sucks. I don't have any demons with buffs on Unfortunately. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I forgot what bu what demon has buffs on them? Fuck, I can't check. Uh... uh well, we're doing fine so far. So let's just keep at it. Besides, he's not that difficult compared to compared to Matador. He's easy. On Amino Uzume. yeah, I'll check that out. 
Let me see if she has it. Never mind. <laughs> Master you Jet, you can shut up. Me, but you will never be able to find our commander, nor the maiden. The nightmare system has been activated. Is that Yuri Lowenthal? This base will soon be closed down, and the way to the maiden will be lost forever. Be gone, demon. It is we, the assembly of Nicolo, who will create the new world. It's not that I'm over level, it's that I literally could have just abused that shit. Because I had an Arhabaki who could essentially just. Oh, I don't know. Fuck over his press turns and now he can't even fight back. Take a good long look at the healing nurse, boys and gals. You're not gonna see her for the next few seconds. Three, two, one. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, time to save, because I'm getting kind of tired. Oh, shit. Save. Oh, yeah, they are way more generous, because they actually let you choose who you want to heal and save money. My greedy little fairy. She is a pixie, so it makes sense. Anyways. Uh, okay, anyways, guys, um... I'm going to end stream here because I'm getting kind of tired. If you guys enjoyed the stream and those that are new, I'd really appreciate you subscribed. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys did. You'd be a chad for it and you'd get a million dollars later down the line. For those And like the stream in case you enjoyed it. As for those watching after the stream and you're watching the, the VOD, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed, if you enjoyed my content. Uh, like the video, like the stream in case you enjoyed it. And leave a comment for any criticisms or nice things you want to say to me about the stream. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. Actually, not go to bed. I need to edit this. So, good night, guys and gals, or whatever you want to call yourselves.